Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to get some messages for the broken hearted. Those of you that have suffered from heartbreak, whether you have gotten over the person that broke your heart or whether you're currently healing from the heartbreak, we're going to see what spirit wants you to know in order to heal, okay? All right, this reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign. Also feel free to switch the energies around as needed. Okay, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what you need to know is talking. And we also have, I like you, all right? So even though you suffered heartbreak at some point, whether it was before or now, Spirit is saying that there are people that are interested in you. There's someone in particular and spirit is saying that this person is going to come in and romance you. OK, now some of you may have already met this person for others of you. You may meet them in the near future, but this is someone that is going to be very fun. I see a lot of flirting between the two of you. They're definitely going to want to date you. So um, I see you conversing a lot with this person. I also do see um, that it's going to be someone that is very, very interested in you. But I want you to also be aware that whoever broke your heart, this person at some point may come back hoovering. Um, I haven't even pulled any other cards yet, but I'm for some reason, this person that hurt you is coming off as narcissistic to me. OK, because of this hoovering thing that they do. For some of you, they're waiting for you to reach out to them, okay? And I feel like when they realize that you have found a new love, whether it's now or whether this new love comes in in the future, they're going to start showing you more interest, okay? But we're going to get more about that. So let's see what else comes out. We have the snake stabbed in the back. Mm. Healthy choices, date, healing hearts, coffee cup, keys on a ring, and we also have acts, all right? At the bottom of the deck, we have lightning. So there's going to be um, a sudden change that comes in for you guys. I do see that you're going through a transformation. Whoever the, whoever this person is that broke your heart, they brought a lot of upheaval to your life, okay? Some of you may have found out something very shocking in regards to this person. There may have been something that came out um, where you had to end the relationship or they ended things with you. But Spirit is saying that this person does not need to be given a second chance or another chance because for some of you, you've given this person more than one chance to get it right. Spirit is saying it's now time for you to grow and transform your life. But keep in mind, this person is still watching you, all right? They're stalking. For some of you, um, I feel as though this person's gonna come back around trying to hoover in order to gas like you or to change your perception of themselves, okay? I feel like this person has a tendency to blame you for things that they're doing or even with the relationship being over, this person is the type that will put it off on you like you're the person that... um you're the reason why things ended okay um spirit is saying that it's important for you to know your self-worth and to show that you know your self-worth by leaving this person out of your life take all of the time that you need to in order to heal a lot of you are realizing some things about yourself in regards to the um the role that you played in this situation none of us are perfect sometimes we have to take responsibility for what we allowed okay because we have to remember no one has the power to hurt us we can only allow ourselves to feel that hurt what regardless of what anyone what what regardless excuse me of what anyone does to you OK, it's up to you in regards to how you choose to feel about it. You can choose to be hurt or you can choose to let it roll off off of your back. But you never give anyone the type of power or that type of power to hurt you. OK, you decide how you want to feel about it. Whatever they did, it may have been something that, of course, is hurtful, but it's up to you in regards to how you choose to feel about it. OK. 
it's up to you. That is taking your power back. Because if we say, okay, well, you did this to me, you did that to me, you know, that gives that person that power. No, we say, okay, yeah, I allowed certain things. You know, I stayed with you longer than I should have. I allowed myself to, you know, to be hurt. I did, but it's okay because I'm growing and glowing now, okay? So yeah, spirit wants you to go ahead and focus on, and that's called shadow work, looking at the shadow aspects of yourself. And it's not always easy, but it's very important because there's an engagement coming up for you guys, okay? There's a union. Um, and I feel as though this is gonna be your end all be all. And then once this union comes into your life, you're gonna have a lot of clarity in regards to um, why things didn't work out. Sometimes rejection is protection, okay? All right, so with this um, snake that you were dealing with, I feel as though this person may have put you in competition with others. There were there was definitely another man or another woman in the mix here. I feel like this person was very malicious, very clever with how they did things. And this was a repetitive pattern. I feel like this person did these same things over and over and over. And spirit wants you to stop that pattern. Okay, so if you broke up with this person, if the two of you separated, spirit is saying that 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 needs to happen okay for some of you i feel like when you would bring things up this person would give you the silent treatment or they would stop coming around you it's almost like they would abandon you for some of you they would abandon you or leave you to be with another man or another woman this person consistently stabbed you in the back there was a lot of heartbreak a lot of pain here for some of you when this person initially started um betraying you it was very shocking very very hurtful to you okay but this person they're the type they have a lot of options they like having options they're very unconventional for some of you this person would deal with one night stands okay you may feel as though this person strung you along for some of you i feel as though this person may have a tendency in the future or they may do it in the past where they just want to have sex with you and if that's the case don't allow that okay spirit is saying to break that cycle all right Spirit is saying um, it's important for you to be open to meeting new people, conversing with people. Don't be afraid to get out and meet someone new. All right. Um, I feel as though um, you're going to meet someone that's going to be a lover and a friend. And this person is going to help uplift you. OK, it's all about making healthy choices. And spirit wants you to make sure that you're making healthy choices in regards to your life. Um, it's okay to love someone unconditionally, but make sure that you're giving yourself that, that same unconditional love, you know, self-love, self-care, being happy. Spirit wants you to be happy. Okay. Spirit wants you to be happy. So for some of you, you definitely need to, you know, meet up with family or friends, or even if not meeting up with them, of course, because of COVID, at least converse a little bit more. It'll help uplift you, okay? Because some of you dealt with this heartbreak alone, and Spirit is saying you don't have to do that, okay? So yes, continue to heal from heartbreak. Spirit wants you to free yourself from anyone toxic, any type of toxic relationship. For some of you, this person puts you in a repetitive cycle to the point where they condition you. Um, and it may have been, been something you didn't even realize was going on. Narcissistic people have a tendency to do that where you know, you get with them and they put you on this high pedestal and they make you the center of attention initially, okay? They make it seem like you're the best thing that ever happened to them. And they encourage you to fall in love with them. And when you do, they literally like knock you off your throne. They try to knock you off your throne. And because of how they treated you initially, it almost programs your mind to want that back. And then the next thing you know, you start trying to prove to this person that you are worthy, that you are, um, you know, you are the one for them, like you are good for them. OK, and so sometimes you have to look at that um, because it's a very, very nar a narcissistic person is dangerous to your health, your overall well-being. OK, especially mentally. And um, even if some, some of you may have went through. Um, physical abuse for others of you, emotional and mental abuse and mental and, and emotional abuse is something that can last a lifetime. Okay. That's why spirit wants you to free yourself from this toxic cycle 
um, that this person puts you in or continue to, you know, move forward with your life because dealing with a narcissistic person, it really will mess up your head. It really will. And so, you know, sometimes we'll catch ourselves accepting things that you know you don't deserve all because you're trying to prove to yourself that you are worthy, that you can, you know, especially if you're the type of person that isn't used to rejection and this person puts you on this pedestal and now they're rejecting you or making you feel less than. Sometimes we try to prove to people or prove to that person or prove to ourselves even that we are worthy when this person isn't even worthy of you. It's all a game. It's all a trick to them. And so you have to unprogram for, from that. Spirit wants you to continue to heal because when this new person comes into your life, you know, um, spirit wants you to, you know, hurt people, hurt people. And so spirit wants you to be open to love, okay? Because once you completely heal, there is going to be someone new that comes into your life, okay? And you're going to realize why this relationship with this person that hurt you it wasn't meant to last this person was a complete snake they stabbed you in your back numerous times okay numerous times give me more holy spirit with what everyone needs to know okay so we have love unconditional love thank you for the confirmation holy spirit thank you See, spirit wants you to be one with yourself, to practice self-love. A lot of you had a lot of passion for this person, but you got to have the same passion for yourself, okay? I know that you had a lot of affection for this person at one point, but you got to put that all into yourself, and that's going to bring you a lot of abundance. So spirit is saying to keep a positive mindset when it comes to love, when it comes to money, when it comes to anything, anything that you feel like you lost, you're going to gain it back, okay? And more, so make sure that you um, keep a positive mindset in order for you to manifest exactly what it is that you want. And don't forget to show um, God gratitude and th to thank God ahead of time for these blessings. Some of you have some really good money coming in. Okay. But yeah, this, this narcissist, very self-absorbed. It was a one-sided relationship. Okay. And this person, I feel like they wanted you to prove. It's almost like they liked for you to be in your feelings when it came to them. They like to uh, ruffle your feathers. They like for you to feel some type of way. They that it, they got off on it because they don't they didn't love themselves. So they didn't know how to love you properly. Give me one more message, Holy Spirit. Look how that one flew out. Wedding rings. Then I tell you, there's wedding bells in your future, baby. And I want you to let me know. <laughs> let me know. Um, when you're getting married, because baby, you saw how, did you guys see how that card fell out? There are wedding rings. Okay. Wedding rings in your future. You're you guys are going to be getting married to someone and it's going to be an everlasting promise an eternal love, a soul connection with someone that, um, reciprocates your love. Okay. So yeah, whoever ran, from the relationship, if this if this person ran off on you or, you know, was dealing with other people, let them run. Let them run. Okay? Let them run. Rejection is sometimes, and I'm not going to say sometimes, rejection is protection. Rejection is protection. These narcissists are filled with demonic, um, demonic energy. That I really truly feel like the devil works through these narcissists. With someone narcissistic in your life, they are teaching you things about yourself. Like whatever you're allowing them to do or however you're allowing them to treat you or whatever. You got to go within and ask yourself, what is it about me? What is it? You know, because we're always trying to fix someone else like they need to fix this or praying for god to fix somebody or change this or change that they need to change their ways and this that and the other no start with you start with you because you have to have peace within if you don't have peace within and you don't focus on healing okay even if you get with someone else you won't have peace you won't have peace because peace is within you that's why you have to ask god to work on you and to show this person the error of their ways with no harm done and let them go. 
Okay, we have to work on ourselves. And I don't mean to preach, I apologize for it, but I'm passionate about you guys. Okay, I love you. I truly do. And you don't deserve this. You don't. So yeah, ask God to, to, to help you fix whatever you need to fix within yourself. Set up stronger boundaries. Um, don't, don't ignore red flags. Don't ignore red flags when it comes to people, okay? All right, so guys, that is the reading. If you resonated with this or you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care, be safe. Until next time, bye.